in this video, I'm going to show you how to deliver a freebie with ConvertKit. Um, so there's a couple ways that you can do this. And so I want to kind of navigate you through um, all of the different options, um, dependent on if you have a free or paid ConvertKit account. So the first thing you need to do is actually create your freebie and have that ready to go. So I'm going to just take this brain dump planner that we have in our um, uh, Creatives Canvas camp and we're going to export it. So I'm going to go to share and I'm going to go to download and we're going to export this as a PDF file. So I'm going to do a PDF print and then go ahead and download and let that download to my computer and we'll have that PDF file. All right, so now we're going to jump over to ConvertKit while that's downloading. And what you need in order to deliver a freebie, especially a specific freebie, is to create a form for every freebie that you have. So each time you have a different freebie, it will need to be under a new form. This will be under Grow and Landing Pages and Forms. You'll come over here and hit Create New, and you'll choose Form. And I always like to do the inline form. And then I typically always choose this one. Um, it just depends on how this, how you want to lay this out on your website and how you're offering this to your end user on the website. But I tend to always go for the very simple form that looks like this. And then I do all of the other design related stuff with copy and imagery on the website side of things. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this one and choose um, that as my option. And then I'm going to go ahead and rename this to the name of my freebie. So we're going to do the 2024 Brain Dump Planner. And by naming these, you can see at a glance all of your forms and you can see, you know, um, how each one is performing. And sometimes I actually like to put um, like freebie like this in the front, just so every freebie form that I'm creating, they all get grouped together when I'm like visually looking at all of my forms. And that way I can see at a glance how everything is performing. And if I need to get rid of things that aren't working or how I can improve the things that are. All right. So here's my form. I've got um, the email address. I've got my subscribe button. I can come over here and make adjustments if I want to change the color or remove the radius or whatever. You can do whatever you want here to dress up the way that your forms look. If you want to add a first name field, you can hit this plus icon and then you'll select this field and you'll come over here and do first name under this custom field. And then you can click on this and move it in front of the email address. So if you don't want just the email address, you can always add that first name in there as well. Now this account that I'm in is a free account, so I'm not going to be able to disable this built with ConvertKit. So this will appear on my website and that's okay for a free account. So um, you'll see here, it's just, uh, if you do have a paid account, you'll be able to disable that um, with this check mark here. All right, so that's all set. And so now I'm gonna go up here to my settings. And then here is where we have different options on what is going to happen after someone subscribes using this form that's going to be on our website. So we can either show a success message or we can redirect to an external page. So you could create like a thank you page or something on your website that you can redirect people to maybe with some next steps or even a tripwire. If you wanted to do a tripwire, that's where it would go. Okay. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave this as show a success message. I'm going to flip over to incentive because this is where we are going to have our incentive. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to send this incentive email and let's hit this edit email so that we can see what this looks like. This is what our email is going to look like. So when someone clicks on this button, confirm your subscription, this step that we see right here is what's going to happen next. So by default, when someone clicks on confirm subscription, they're taken to this URL, which is just a basic page that says, thank you for subscribing or thank you for confirming your subscription. Um, and it's, from uh, ConvertKit and you can't edit it. But what we want to do is we want to actually provide them the download the moment they click on that button. So I'm going to click on download and we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose the file that we've just saved um, from our Canva account. So I'm going to select that PDF and I'm going to go ahead and open. Okay. And then up here for edit email contents, we want to change the, wh what this says, right? So instead of confirm your subscription, you could say, download your freebie now. Okay. Cause as soon as they click on this, it's going to download that item for them. 
and it's confirming their subscription, okay? Now you can click into here and adjust this copy a little bit so you can, you know, say thank you for subscribing, you know, you're excited for them to download this freebie, whatever. Whatever you want this to say, you can adjust it. Um, and then you can also adjust the subject line up here if you wanted to as well. So you'll want to adjust this to where it's, um, you know, a little more specific to what it is that they're subscribing to and what they're subscribing to receive here in this freebie. All right. And again, you can click on this button and you can change the colors and adjust the styling of it and all of that over here. All right. So I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to hit save. Let me clear that out. Um, let's hit save and then we'll go ahead and hit save again and then save up here and publish. All right. So now how do we get this on our website? So I've got the convert kit plugin installed and activated on my demo site here. So let's just go over to our pages and I'm going to just add a new page and we're just going to start by creating just a little space for people to subscribe. Okay. So we're going to start here and I'm going to click on this little plus icon and we're going to type in row layout. And I'm going to choose this format. So basically what we want to happen is over here on the left side, um, we're going to have a little bit of copy that entices them to subscribe. And then over on the right side will be the actual form. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to click on this plus icon and I'm going to search for convert kit and it's going to be the convert kit form. And then over here, um, we will have this drop down of all of the new uh, forms that we have on our site. Now I just created that new form, so it's not listed here yet. So I'm going to refresh my screen and then um, I'll come back here to adjust that. But let's go ahead and do on uh, the left side here. I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to search for text and we're going to do um, join the newsletter. Oops. And then I'm going to do another text here and uh, let's do and receive our free 2024 brain dump planner. Okay. And so I'm going to leave this font big, but I'm going to adjust this top one here. And we're just going to make this more of a, an H4. Okay. And then I'm going to select the whole row and I'm going to center align everything to the middle. All right. So I'm going to save my draft and I'm going to just refresh my screen and let's see if this form will pop up over here for us. It's not. Okay. So if you're not seeing your form, you'll want to go to settings and convert kit. Okay. And you'll just want to come down here and hit save changes and it should, um, regenerate the forms that you have. Yep. Perfect. So now it's popping up. All right. So let's go back to our page Hit edit. And then we've got our form over here. There we go. Perfect. And you'll see that form will come in here and it'll pop up and it'll look exactly the way it was when we designed it inside of ConvertKit. All right. So now I'm going to just save that draft and I'm going to just live preview this. And you'll see here we've got our copy and we've got our, our um, form over here. We can also add images and we can add a background color to this if we wanted to. So let's say we want to add a background color and we want to make it full width. So I'm going to select this row layout and I'm going to choose this icon here and do full width. And then I'm going to center everything here to use the theme content inner width. And then we'll go over to style and let's choose a color real quick. All right. And then I'll just refresh and then this is how it'll look. Now keep in mind, we see this edit form and convert kit right now because we are logged in to our website. Um, but this will not be visible and this form will be a little more centered than it looks right now. This is just because we're logged in. So no one else will see that. It's just us. All right. So that's how you will set up a freebie to be delivered in ConvertKit, um, just using the free version of ConvertKit. Now, if you wanted to deliver it um, a little differently and send maybe a sequence after they subscribe, you can do that as well. That would require a paid account. So you would go into send and in sequences and you would create a new sequence and you would, you know, type out that whole first email, however you want that email to be right. And then, um, and then you would do an automation. So you would go to automate and visual automations and you would say, when someone subscribes to this form, send them to this sequence of events. Okay. I can't show you that here because my account right here is on the free plan. So it doesn't have those 
options available to me. But the way that I just showed you is really the simplest and easiest way to deliver um, a freebie. Um, just, you know, that one click download option. But if you're wanting to sort of prime your, your list a little more or introduce them to another offer or something like that, then that's where sequences are going to get involved. All right, so that's how you will deliver your freebie with ConvertKit.